ます。In this video, we'll be going over the Templates admin page and some of its features in your Vault software. Please be aware that this feature is entirely permission-based. If you don't have access to the feature and think you should, please contact your local Vault administrator. To begin, we'll first navigate to the Templates tab on your admin page. Here, we see four buttons at the top of the page for types of templates. All which shows all templates in your Vault system. Information, Evaluation, and Comment. By default, all of your templates will be shown when you bring up the page. Clicking these buttons will allow you to view only the respective template type. Let's start to build a custom template by clicking on the plus symbol in the top right corner of the page. This will bring up the general template structure. Here you will name your template, define the template type, and set up which container the template will live in. Please note that if you are not using containers for your groups or recordings, you will want to save any template to the global container. The template fields portion will allow you to add pieces of information to your recordings. Every field has four points of information to fill out. A required checkbox, the entity name, the field type, and a pre-filled data section. The required checkbox will determine if you are required to fill out the block of information before continuing. The entity name will be the formal name for the piece of information you will be gathering. The field type refers to the way information will be filled out, and each field type will be discussed for its corresponding template. The pre-filled data section will allow you to set text to the block of information before anything is filled out by your users. Now that you know the basics of the general template structure, you can continue building the template. The first type of template we will create is an information template. Information templates are used to gather information at the start of your recording. This template will also define the name of your recordings, as well as other pieces of searchable data in the Review tab. Start by naming the template and selecting information as the type. The first field used will always be required. This field will establish the name of your recording. Adding a few fields to the template gives us more options for gathering information. You will notice that these new fields are not checked for being required. If you want this piece of information to be required to start the recording, click the Required box. The drop-down menu here has a few style options, and each template type has a variation of these options. Selecting text will allow you to type what information is needed into the field. Pre-filling this in the template will give users an idea of what they should write. Selecting drop-down will let you build a pre-filled drop-down menu for users to select information from. The audio selection allows users to record an audio clip for notes on the activity or recording being made. Choosing note will leave you with a larger area to type notes about the recording. Selecting files will allow you to upload documents alongside the video you are creating. The types of files you can upload are PDF, XLSX, XLS, DOC, DOCX, and RTF. To view these documents, you will need to access the information of the video in the Review tab. The Multi-Select function gives you a list of criteria that you can pick and choose from. Based on your recording, you may choose as many or as few examples from this list as needed. Once you have added all the data fields your recordings will gather, hit Save at the corner of the template. You will now see that your saved template is visible under the Information Templates list. After your template has been saved, you can add it to a group. Navigate to the Users and Groups page of your Admin tab. 
Select the group you wish to add the template to and find the information template segment within. After adding your desired template to the group, click Save. The default template will automatically be shown for this group when you begin a recording. If utilized, extra templates that are added can be picked from a drop-down list as well to offer a much wider range of documentation capabilities. Once a template has been set to a group or a recording, it becomes locked in your template list. This is to ensure that the data your recordings carry will not change formats without specifically making changes to the template. Now, let's look at a sample information template in use. Once the criteria has been filled out and the recording has been made, all the gathered information becomes searchable in the Review tab. You can do this by using the search bar or filter selector at the top of the screen. Now that we have successfully created an information template, the next available type is the comment template. Comment templates are used to highlight events and notable moments in your recordings. These comments can be added both during a live recording session or upon review of a completed video, and like the information template, can be searched for in the Review tab. Now, click the Add Template button at the top of the screen, add a name, and change the type to Comment. Adding extra fields again gives you more options for selecting the comment type. The first field of your comment template will set a default color for either text or drop-down type comments. This color can be changed manually when marking up your video. Though most of these options are the same as in your information template, once you are finished adding the desired comments, hit Save at the top of the template. You will now see that your saved template is visible under the Comment Templates list. After your template has been saved, you can add it to a group. Navigate to the Users and Groups page of your Admin tab. Select the group you wish to add the template to and find the Comment Template segment within. After adding your desired template to the group, click Save. The default template will automatically be shown for this group when marking a video. If utilized, extra templates that are added can be selected from a drop-down list as well. Please note that only one comment template may be used at a time. In the sample comment demonstration, you can see just how easy it is to mark up a video quickly and with precise detail. We will now move on to creating an evaluation template. Evaluation templates and the Vault software help build a grading rubric into your recorded videos. In this template, we will define the moments or events you would like to base this evaluation on and add a scoring to the targets. Then, based upon the recorded performance, a percentage of marks hit will be returned. To start, click the plus symbol at the top of the page. Choose a name and select Evaluation as the type. There are three types of fields you can choose for an evaluation template. Single Select, Multi Select, and Description. Single Select allows you to add options that, when selected, carry either a partial or full weight of the total value. The total value will be equal to the highest points given for a single target. The multi-select option allows you to add several boxes to check off, each with its own assigned value. Here, the total value will be awarded when all boxes in the field have been selected. The final option for the evaluation template type is a description. For this option, you pre-fill data describing the event you wish to see happen in your recording. The total value is added during the creation of the field but will be manually entered by the evaluating party during review. Now, 
Any number of these fields may be added to a template to create an evaluation from basic knowledge checks to examination level testing. The best practice for creating effective evaluation templates is defining your program's needs and producing a suitable template to fulfill them. Once you have finished adding evaluation fields, click Save. You will now see that your saved template is visible under the Evaluation Templates list. After your template has been saved, you can add it to a group. Navigate to the Users and Groups page of your Admin tab. Select the group you wish to add the template to and find the Evaluation Template segment within. After adding your desired template to the group, click Save. To evaluate any video, navigate to the Review tab of your Vault software. Click on the name of the video you will be assessing and select Evaluation at the top of the page. The default template will automatically be shown for the group when evaluating a video. If utilized, extra templates that are added can be selected from a drop-down list. If you want to edit a template, there are a few routes you may choose to take when doing so. The first option for editing a template would be to make any necessary changes and save these changes over the original. The appended template will now become the standard for all new recordings created by the group. Please note that updating the template will result in the old version being removed. The next option for editing a template would be to make a copy of it. By doing this, you can fix issues or add fields of data without removing a previously created template. To start, select which template you would like to edit from the list of templates currently in the system. Click on Copy Template at the right side of the page. This will create a new version of your selected template in the list. Now, open the copied version, make any necessary changes, and save the template before adding it to your groups. After it has been added to the desired groups, you can return to the Templates tab and deactivate the original by clicking the orange slider at the right side of the page. You can also show or hide all inactive templates by clicking the slider at the top of the page. Now, here are a few notes to remember about your templates. Any template can be edited and appended without the need for creating a copy. Edited templates that have previously been applied to videos will show the word old in parentheses. The old version of the template will still contain the original information until the template is changed. Copied templates will always have the word copy in parentheses unless changed while editing. Any template may be modified to reflect the changing needs of your program. This concludes our video segment on the Templates admin page and its features. If you need any further help after viewing these videos, please feel free to visit our wiki or ivs.help for more solutions.